You are and you will not disrespect me like this today. Drop a like if you love 90 Day Fiance. Hey there everyone, what's up? And welcome back to another video. 90 Day Fiance holds up two ultimate goals for any couple. Either it is love and chemistry between them or their American dream. People from all over the world have been trying to impress their American other halves in order to wow them and win their hearts. Here are the eight moments that would blow your mind as seen on the show. Number eight, overweight Nicole. Nicole and Azin had a huge cultural difference, but the couple managed to click along and meet in the United States. The US Moroccan couple has been places together and enjoyed their time. The Moroccan Azin, being a skinny and smart guy, commented in one of his interviews alongside Nicole that he admits that Nicole is quite big in size. Also, that he is physically attracted to Nicole, but only like 55%. To Nicole, but it's not like just like for example 55 percent number seven physical needs danielle and muhammad were apparently an odd couple since the start of the show being a perfect misfit for each other the special tell all episode showed a bizarre scene among the two Upon the question of the show host regarding the couple's love life after their wedding, Muhammad said that they never had any physical activity since then and that Danielle threatened him for physical needs or she would get him deported. Screaming in front of her teenagers, I want my sex tonight. Number 6. Ex-wife's car. Nikki and Mark made a horribly senseless couple where Mark could easily go as Nikki's dad due to the major age difference between them. In order to fix Nikki's homesickness, Mark gifted her a used red car so she can roam around and kill her boredom. Nikki's happiness didn't last long as she found out that this car was the favorite of Mark's ex-wife. It was her choice and Mark brought it for her, not Nikki. Oh, well you can drive me home. I'm going to drive you home now? Yeah, it's just around the corner. Number five medical emergency the very first season of the series showed a lovely couple of paul from the u.s and kareen from brazil appearance wise they made a super good looking couple but the main issue shared by them was different spoken languages that made their conversations so hard the couple once went down to the Amazon for a swim and Paul had to expose his possessions of STDs and that he couldn't go to any swimming area without a protection against it. <laughs> Number 4. Rotten American Dream Lita belonged to an affluent family with a lavish lifestyle. She flew all the way from Indonesia to marry Eric and pursue her American dream as she found a big number of medical opportunities in the States for her career. To her awe, she landed in a tiny room of a dorm, which was totally not what she expected. Her wedding with Eric took place in a very small conference room, most likely to be of a local motel. She claimed that her first marriage took place in a classy manner, with his dad spending tons of money on it. Dirty dishes. Yes, I know. That's, I'm not happy about that because I've tried to teach her to. Number three, family feud. Chantel and Pedro fell in love, and it was so obvious as they went famous for their public displays of affection moments. Chantel flew to visit Pedro's homeland after the 90 days period was over. When Chantel's family visited Pedro's family, at the dinner table, a feud erupted when Pedro's mother was serving feet and neck of a chicken at the table. Chantel's parents found it as a matter of disrespect and caused chaos resulting in marching out of Pedro's house in anger. Number 2. Darcy's Relationship In an episode, a group of men and women were brought forward for discussion on relationships. While discussing Darcy's relationship, Rachel stated that it's merely a game of blames, to which everyone agreed. On the other hand, Angela got offended and replied that Rachel doesn't even know her relationship properly. This erupted a quarrel between the two, and Angela left the show with a grumpy face on. You can't 
Number one, Asuelu's traditional dance. The Samoa Utah couple had an instant bonding upon their meeting in Samoa. When Asuelu reached the U.S. to meet his love, he performed his traditional Samoan dance at the airport to impress Kalani. He wore a cultural outfit having no shirt on his body. He danced to the music and on the other hand Kalani was getting embarrassed in public. <laughs> Well, this brings us to the end of our video, and we really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's not too late. Give it a thumbs up. We'll see you soon in another video, so until then, take care and goodbye.